when I click on that, I, I don't, I can't take the master of it. Okay, we're up and running. Three, two, one, you're on. Right, we're on air. That's how they do it in the business. Yeah. Hi, magical bearded one. Hi, um, swollen chinny one. Uh, ha having been <laughs> to the dentist and had a, a, a little bit of, um, uh, what can, this, what can we say? Because uh, this is what I've been drinking. <laughs> so this is why I have cavities. <laughs> yeah. And, and so then we, we've got something that we're going to be speaking yes. about. And yes. so what is it exactly? <laughs> I love how you just throw it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> so with this great thing we're going to talk about, everybody, yeah, and Rachel, just, tell just, them what just, it is. Just Johnny, remind tell them me what, what it is. that is. Okay, well, let's, let's start off. You, you, you recently you went that. on a, a vacation um, yeah, so within it. California, and of it, it, was, it was in the hills, and it was in a beautiful environment, and, and you, you rented... I did an um, intro to everybody on the site, which you'll see soon, because I sent it to Guy. It's, be, it's a, just an introduction to everybody. I was thinking of everyone on the site when I was there. Yeah, and, and so that introduction, I, yeah. I've watched it. It was a beautiful introduction, yeah. and you can see the uh, the environment, and you can yeah. and listen to Rachel's disposition, and hopefully you can feel what the message was. Um, so we're going to be speaking about that now. Yes, um, I was just telling Aaron off of recording that um, I went there for a few days, and the silence was overwhelming. You, I found a place in L.A. where... Um, you couldn't even hear a you couldn't hear a car. It was in the middle. It was in the in a canyon. So, you you could hear the echo of maybe a dog bark or a chicken or but, a rooster. But, but outside of the canyon, uh, the, the 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 noise that was traveling through the air um, wasn't coming down in into no. the canyon. So the, you got completely a little bit of a, silent. a haven was, from. Just the wind vibration. And, and and yeah, and even when I made the video, I was I always felt like I it was interrupting nature because it was, it was a chorus of, of silence. But you could also hear the trees talking to each other in the in the leaves, and when the crickets, even the crickets, it seemed like were like, oh, that was a little loud. Yeah, <laughs> it was just it's so silent that. I I felt like I was really I've been really hot, and I was diving into a pool. It felt that refreshing, almost like my soul was going, oh, thank you, and thank you. And you, you realized um, uh, what your humanity was coming from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, then yeah. you immerse yourself in, into nature. And I couldn't hear a single thing, and it was absolutely beautiful. And your disposition and how you you, you convey it, I, I can see yeah. that absolutely you you were feeling it. And the whole thing about when we speak about this certain place that you can be, if you take the time and mm -hmm. you, you have some sort of a spiritual transition, you have to have something that goes on which enables you to reside in that world, to see that world, to hear that world. And right. so when you say that you listen to the trees talking mm. to themselves, that's mm -hmm. what it feels like. Everything yeah. is actually talking. It's talking to you. The bees are talking to you. You're talking to the bees, the buttercups, and uh, every single stick and piece of foliage, there's a communication going on there. Well, yeah, and even, I mean, I did, I did a couple of takes, by the way, because I didn't think the first one took. Um, because it was so cold that my camera actually, like after I did a, a, a seven minute intro, it just shut off. And so I, I had to do like three different seven minute intros because it was so cold that my phone just shut down. Well, but, the, the last one shut down. The, the video that you sent me, that was one that shut down. That was one that shut down. And yeah. there was, um, and then, so I did one after that. I did two more. I just sent you that one because it, it was the prettiest. It was getting dark. Okay. Um, but but the, ne the next few, um, that also shut down mid intro. Um, it was interesting because I, I had started to address the, I didn't know what I was going to say. I was just going to introduce myself, but where the conversation went was, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where the site goes. And instead of what I would normally say right now in LA, let's have some direction. Maybe we need to do this. Maybe we need to do this because of where I was, it was almost like I was being held and 
what came out of my mouth was in the same way that the wind sort of moves the trees and knows exactly when, that same energy is in all of us and is also directing the site and where it's going to go. And so we allow that to take form rather than trying too hard to, to grab it and control it and direct it, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's so, just what came out of my mouth. So I thought, wow, that's being there and that energy. It's, exactly. It, and yeah. what's very interesting about this is, and Paul and I, we used to do many videos about it. We, we'd be talking that even when you walk on a tarmac road, which traverses oh, yeah. a beautiful natural this. park, it feels as soon different. as you step off the tarmac, the, the, the whole vibration changes. There's, there's a phenomenon yeah. which actually takes place. Yeah. And we would walk around this park every single nook and cranny, but very, very often, at some stage in the day, we would always uh, naturally elevate to the, the highest points around the park. And we would stand on these points uh, for, for a long time, and then one of us would say, look what we're doing, look where we are. Why is mm -hmm. it that we, we, we've... Uh, come here, why is it that we've surmounted this peak here and we, we've got to the highest elevation? Because there's something that happens when you raise yourself up. You, you go into a higher level of, of consciousness, it, it, it seems. Um, this is what happened all the time. And then we'd be uh, discussing things in, in the center of a wood and then we'd stop and I'd go, Shh. I'd go, look around, look where we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If anybody could see us, from say mm -hmm. like 200 yards either side of the wall or something what are those guys doing they're doing some sort of ritual they're, they're doing some spooky shit they're, they're, whatever they're doing is freaky yeah. that's what it would look like but what we were doing we was touching in something which was very very special and precious and the people from the other side of the wall wouldn't be able to cognize that and to them it would look odd and so what, what i'm getting to here is when when you were there you touched at something and then you saw the world in a different way and you you embrace the site and the integrity of the site and what we want to bring about in the site and you looked at yourself you had a reflection on yourself and you know how busy you are when you're back at home and mm. you, you know how sometimes you don't do the, all the things that you you want to do well mm -hmm. when you get into this piece of of nature with yourself mm -hmm. then your clarity uh, and perception Yes. Become so crystal clear and you know the way to go. And so this is the thing about nature, isn't it? If we could only spend more time in nature, we'd have so much more clarity. We would be able to see the world in, in such more, uh, a more beautiful <sighs> and profound way. And yeah. it would then help us reflect upon the way we should be going forward instead uh, of um, continuing in the hustle and the bustle and the grind and the negative vibration of yeah. a city or, or, or a town whereby we cannot see the wood from the trees. Yes, and um, what you and I were also discussing, which I didn't share with the community, is I uh, was there, um, my boyfriend was there with me one of the nights, and uh, it was interesting that uh, there had been something he had been keeping from me and the world for many years, and he, uh, it, it was almost like, because you're in nature, I was describing it to Aaron, it's like nature, it was squeezing it out of you because you're in an environment where everything is integrity. Yeah. It's nature. It's it does pure. not know how to lie. It is pure. Yeah. And when you're surrounded by that and there's no distraction, that night when we had a discussion like we normally do, and I always ask a lot of questions, people feel like I'm interrogating them and I'm really just curious. I have no agenda. I really am a curious mind, but people, I think people who are hiding things get really, why is she asking so many questions? You know, because yeah. we all should, because I, because I like you, because I wouldn't ask one question about you if I didn't find you interesting. Yeah. And, but and, and, and if you're not an open person, then obviously you feel you're, like, you're well, hiding things. You're and, hiding. And, and, and why and so are you afraid to This is to the vast answer. majority of people. And this is why I right. can't get people to come well, forward on this yes. site, really, for the better part, well, because they are uh, intimidated at the prospect of being asked something that they don't want right. to reveal. And they've no well, idea you know why what? they don't want to reveal it. It, it, could, it, but it could be that. But also, it's like this, Aaron. I think that, um, I mean, getting, getting back up in that night is a normal conversation that we had. And also, and he, like this, but I defend it because I normally was because it was so quiet. <laughs> it's like you didn't want to interrupt nature. So yeah. normally we'd raise our voice in an area where siren just 
being a zombie, so, you know. But they were quiet. I said, listen, curious. You asked me about my, my ex-husband. You asked me about my... I love sharing that stuff. I'm only asking you about the situation and what that happened because I wonder you coped with it. And, you know, it ended up... And I think because I was in a place of love and not... I know you're lying. I know you're lying. You know, I was in the place of love. He he broke down and he he told me a lie that he had been telling, you know, for probably five or six years, and it was a pretty major one, and uh, and he just literally lost it. Like he completely broke down like a baby. And one of the things that I felt was surrounded by nature. I felt once again hugged and protected, like. This is exactly what should happen. This is the purging. This is the natural purging of the things that no longer serve us. And when we're in that environment, on top of me providing open love, not this, but this, he was, it's almost impossible for him not to. And, and, he, and he broke down and, and in response I said, I'm, I'm so glad that you're able to heal in this way because I feel that spirit or nature or God or whatever you want to call it, that force, it was because I'm becoming more honest in my life because I'm vibrating and wanting to vibrate at a higher level. What will happen in your life is people will either meet you or fall away. And what happens is the people that can't meet you and they're shaking like this because you're honest and and then they're like, they're either going to fall away, but he didn't want to lose me. So he... Boom, he became honest. Now he's very painful, um, something he had to do and that he still has to work on. But now he can he can be with me on a much more honest level because I'm maintaining my vibration. And I guess the whole reason I'm saying this is when we put ourselves, Jesus went to the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. He didn't go somewhere else. He went away into nature. There's a reason quiet in the desert. It's almost like you're, you are surrounded by nature and the yes, earth and, and the world. You, you have to confront yourself because you're yeah. avoiding the self. And Voices are a lot louder. <laughs> yeah. And so when you are in nature, i.e. A, a beautiful area which has lots of woods and water and all this sort of thing, then you are actually in the, 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 bosom of nature, you in Gaia, you, you in the femininity. And so when you are in this feminine realm, then it's the gentle realm and it's the nurturing realm and you can let your defenses down. When you're in concrete city and you, you're in all that uh, harsh vibration, then you want to keep your defenses up because you're in protection mechanism. But when yes. you are in the heart of mother nature, th there's nothing that you want to feel uh, protected uh, from because it's all loving and so therefore you, you can look at the roots of yourself and, and you can purge yourself of the uh, poisons that you, you've been suppressing and so he got uh, uh, catharsism from his experience there a very mm -hmm. cleansing catharsism and mm -hmm. it's it's uh, I believe this this whole thing when you you know it's like what Jesus said you be, become like a baby when you become like a baby, you cry with such an innocence and uh, mm. su such uh, no inhibition. You mm -hmm. just cry. And you see babies when they cry that they get into it so far that they actually enjoy the crying, which is a paradox because like, they really get, ah, 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 and it's like, oh, for goodness sake, come on, you're acting now. But they're experiencing themselves. They've never experienced themselves um, to that degree That's before. Right. That's and I right. experienced my daughter do that on, on, on one occasion when, when she had mm. a fever. She went absolutely hysterical. When she had a what? A fever. Okay. Okay, when yeah. she was about um, one year old or, or less than two, uh, she, she, she went into this purple face, you'd absolutely, you know, crying beyond crying. And um, me and her mother were absolutely just like dumbfounded as to what we do. And so we, we put her in a cold bath, you know, to try to change the atmosphere. And we did. But what we realized is that she was just experiencing herself at that level. And so if you can do this, if you can be absolutely free, and I've done it uh, on, on many occasions now, and there's no shame in crying. It's the most emancipating thing and I believe this is what the baptism's about it's not being baptized in water it's being baptized in your own water you baptize yourself when you 
cry like a baby and you become like a baby when all of the issues and, and, and all of the things that you considered to be holding you back and to be important in your life, you realize that they're not. Because the cleansing of, of the joy of the tears, it, it, it makes you born again. Born again. And that's a whole nother, I mean, way of saying you get to renew just like nature renews itself. Um, I felt I felt that way, but I also wondered how I can then bring that into my life because it's not none of us have the the time, the money. That I mean, I looked at where I was, and I think I laughed at one of the one of the takes. I said to you guys, um, "This is wonderful," and the people who own this place have a ton of money, and their place also burned down in a fire, you know, 15 years ago. Because that's the when you live in the canyon in Malibu fires and mudslides, you know, mm. um, you take that because that's nature, because that's nature. That's what happens. That's how the earth purges itself and cleanses itself. We just happen to get in, get in the way because we're, we're, we're living right there. But, you know, how can we, how can we get into nature more if we don't have that money? I mean, it was a hundred dollars, a little over a hundred a night for me to stay there. Um, worth it. But how can I experience that? Um, without having to do that and bringing that back. And I was telling Aaron how even when I came back to, to my place, I looked at things a little differently. And I had this, I had this job where I had to iron out this huge green screen that I have in my, in my basement. And um, I have a little steamer, it's only this big. And just imagine how long it would take to steam out. But I started really getting into it and watching how the steam just really started to smooth out every wrinkle. And all of a sudden, I became part of it. And I thought, wow, this is miraculous the way it just, and I was just, and the next thing I know, I was enjoying every moment of it. Like it was the coolest thing I've ever done. And now I, I look at that like it wasn't, how can I do that like through the dishes or make my bed that way? I mean, bringing that energy of fully being present and fully watching each tiny um, wrinkle smooth out, you know? And then I even use it as a metaphor for Aaron being frustrated with the community and who where you should be stepping up more and the, the glitches in the site. I said, you know, it, it takes a while to iron out a huge screen and there are wrinkles but if you can be in the moment and slowly smooth out every wrinkle and watch it smooth out and go, wow, and look at it for it and go, well, that was really cool. Just like the stuff that's the website's now turning into, wow, that's really cool. I can add a friend. I can, you know, it's, I'm watching it develop and it's a really beautiful thing. So yeah, if, if you see what you said about uh, before is mm -hmm. that when you're actually in the moment and when you are moment, yeah. actually see the joy in in everything potentially mm. if you can allow yourself if your mind can be mm. beside itself for a moment yeah. and you, you go into this variety of meditation which is the the the, the whole thing about being present when you are present in now the Eckhart Tolle now thing yeah you look and you observe and if, if your heart is still and your mind is calm then Everything seems a, a joy because the realization of a, a certain absurdity over you, the old cosmic, you, 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 what are you doing actually? Steam, this boiling hot um, vaporized warming out of a machine, which you consider it to be important to be ironing out these little creases. Isn't that absurd? Of course it's absurd. And why do we do all these absurd things? So we look at ourselves like this and we, we, we can have a giggle because it's entirely ridiculous. The vast majority of what we do as human beings is entirely ridiculous. And so when we look at that and if we are washing up and um, we're, we're doing whatever the ritual is regarding the washing up and we've got such an emphasis on keeping things clean because we, we're so anal in this particular environment that we're living in, then you, again it gives rise to questioning yourself. And so if you can imagine, if you can live in this uh, present position all the time, how much you'd learn about yourself, how much you'd learn about the whole world, and how so many things would really become insignificant. And so like yeah. you say, Rachel, this is, this is something that I have managed to do, um, and, it, and it's not something I've tried to do, it's something that's just come about. When you two took my site down, uh, I mentioned to uh, Spirit and um, coffee and can say, uh, Greg and yeah. Cheryl, I, I mentioned that I, I didn't 
care in the slightest and I don't mm. and mm. people think well that's quite perplexing you've put five years into your life and that's all mm -hmm. you do for yeah. you and I'm like well look what it was is 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 that was all me in the past but I don't hang on to me in the past I only hang on to me in the present and so whatever it was I said I still remember all that so there's no deficit in me and it if the only deficit would be if my ego was such that I wanted to hang on to all of that thing, all the video I said, you know, oh, look at this and oh, look at that, and my wonderful philosophy. But I let go of it, Rachel, because it, it doesn't matter to me in, in, in the slightest, because whoever was privy to that philosophy, it served its purpose. And if it's gone now forever see, right. yeah. from YouTube, it remains in the minds of three million people. Absolutely. Three million people viewed. So whatever my purpose is in, in, in this uh, dimension, then it, it seems to be that it's spreading some sort of knowledge and wisdom. So I've done that. And so I, I don't have any issues. What the whole uh, situation brought around is how calm I was about that and so therefore how uh, I've achieved something I in my life because there would have been a time when I've been so bothered about losing some of my legacy you know but I don't I, I just don't have any ad adherence now or adhesion to my legacy because it's all vanity and so therefore nothing matters what whatever we're doing on a daily basis and this is why I'm really quite calm about that site because it's beyond my control for the vast majority so how can I have a concern about it if it's going to work it's going to work via the intention of this community it's not just about me it can't be about me anymore. It's about us. And so what, what I'm saying then is that if it's going to work, if it's meant to be, it will be. If the energy is good, then something good is going to come out of it. And so you, you, you're perfectly right in saying that there's no reason to push. There's no reason to strive. There's no reason to stress. Just let's be. Let's exist and let's speak like we're doing now because this is the whole thing that is going to be benefiting Keeping everybody. Keeping the conversation going. And, you know, I thought for myself why it took so long for me to reach out to you after I had watched you for about six months and uh, surprised that you had commented and that you said, okay, you, you talked to me. It's like, what are we going to talk about? Now, Aaron, you, me, and anyone from this site, if they're signed up, all I have to do is call them and I promise we would not have a hard time figuring out what we talk about. I think for me the problem was now that you're forcing me to pick a topic, I don't have a fucking clue, so I just not, not going to talk to you because I don't know what to say. And I think that it might help, at least I'm just speaking out loud for me, that if I just set up a time and say, hey, no matter what, even if we don't have a topic, let's Skype Wednesday at 1 or whatever time that is. We figure it out and we do it. Because sometimes topics, just like today's topic, came out from me saying, hey, I got to talk to you. Can I ask you something? Or... You know, you're asking two strangers to Skype with each other where we feel like we kind of know you. We don't really know each other. And I know you don't know some people on the site either, but um, you know how long it took for me and I felt like I did know you. So, and I'm a pretty outgoing person, but I think to be a member of this site, I think we've all agreed that we are people who are willing to do that and to step up and to participate rather than like you said, be a watcher or be on the sidelines. But I also think, you know, before I buy anything in a store, I, I like to walk into the store and check it out first. You know what I mean? It takes a little bit. Yeah. And we've formed, or Guy formed, a Facebook page, which I think I told you. <laughs> Love for you to join. I said the universe will absolutely collapse when you do ever join Facebook. But um, it's um, yeah, Ascended, Awakened, Brave, I think it's called. And we've all connected on there. Not we've all, but there's 15 of us. Right, And it's so easy to comment or share a link or whatever on the Facebook. So a few of us have, have done that and you're, you're not seeing that, but that's happening. So we're yeah, connecting there. That, that's right. So I'm, so I'm not seeing much activity in the forum mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and uh, very little activity in the members' uh, comments, which is just um, you know a few lines here and there, which you, you, you can do this. And so... I'm I not found birth. I couldn't send someone a private message. So that has been my problem is I want to Skype with someone, but I've found that when I put send a message, um, it wasn't 
doesn't think. You couldn't send it. That's right. right. That, that's what right. I've experienced as well. So if but, I can't send someone, then I can't ask them if they want to Skype. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the Facebook, at least until a guy gets that sorted out, and I'm just going to do it there and say, okay, next Wednesday or next Tuesday, whatever, and then we're going to do it. And, but But I just have to figure out how to record that so that we can put it up on the site. That's the next step for the site, right? Yeah, and so there's um, Irit um, and Patrick, they're uh, getting their set up, and so y you have the desire to do it, and um, n you know, there's um, no doubt uh, a couple of others that um, are gonna be doing this. And once we have sort of shown the way, a guy is going to be um, creating a video of actually how you do this, and um, I'll be playing my part in it as well. And and so all we're doing is is people at the end of the day, we're just uh, getting in touch with with our humanism again because mm -hmm. w the vast majority of the world is losing the skills that we've got. That's right. And it, it, it's including it's, me. It, yeah, it's just. The, what the skill is, and it shouldn't really be considered the skill, it's just sitting down and being confident and being open and being free. Instead of like anticipating, oh, uh, I've got to talk, all oh, the pressure's on, what we're going to talk about. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you question yourself and you feel inadequate <laughs> about the, yep. the, the knowledge of certain subjects and all this. But I know, well, that's exactly what happens, Aaron. That's what happens with yeah. me. But, but all I just go, need... okay, well, what do I have? Am I really smart enough to even talk about that? You know, I mean, that's what goes through my head. I, I know it's mental because <laughs> it, with the amount of Skype conversations that I've had now, and oh, every single one of them yeah. goes beautiful. Really does. The people who have only ever watched five, that they, they should know that it's such an easy conversation. There, there isn't an agenda. There doesn't need to be anything specific said. I'm of the experience whereby I can read um, my uh, uh, viewer or, or participant uh, so well that I, I'm going to be feeding the, the, um, the, the other member to make them feel more comfortable and to, to see if there's a, an area which they're stuck in, you know, when we start to broach something, then, you know, I know how to guide it. And so this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do and I'm going to try to make it as, as, as comfortable as I possibly can, even to the point whereby it becomes uncomfortable to me because I may consider that the viewers looking at me thinking, fucking hell, you're struggling with this one, Aaron. You know? That's right. You still um, to keep this one alive. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yes, and we were joking about Aaron going off the grid and how like he was gone for a couple of days and how if he didn't come back, all of a sudden he would come back a month later and the site would be up and running and we wouldn't even need him and we'd all be connecting and we forget who it was. Wait, who is the one that started this? You know, I mean, it has that potential and I just think it, it should be... Um, in a way, it has to have a blueprint and an outline and some accountability, actually, because for me, one of the reasons that I joined and am paying the $10 a month is because I, I want someone to hold me accountable, and you're pretty good at that. And just by saying, hey, guys, um, let, why don't we say once a week someone Skypes with somebody? And whether you record it or not, there's, there's, there's a program called Zoom. It's free, and um, you can have up to five or six people on there and record it. And it's really easy. And it doesn't have to be Skype. There's a lot of other ways to do That's it. That's something we're definitely going to look into because... Uh, yeah, Zoom we, is we, really we, good. We, for sure, we can't hold a... Um, Skype conversation with with more than two people. We struggle to to hold it with with with, with yeah. two people these days. And, and nowadays, it. nowadays Skype is really outdated. Anyway, people are doing Zoom, and you know I'm looking into that because I was going to teach a um, my hosting class virtually and just have ten people in it. And it's completely possible to do that and record it on on Zoom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that this week and. Um, and, you know, if we could do that, how fun would it be to even have, you know, four people or five people just conversing, just like a little get together, you know, yeah. eventually. And, and just so we can all at least get familiar with our faces and, and where we're from and that kind of thing. Exactly. And, and so this is the intention that um, we have uh, collectively, for, for, for the mm -hmm. better part, that there, there's... There's a lot of um, energy within this community. And mm -hmm. I was speaking to Doug Michael uh, today. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be speaking with him on Skype uh, on, on Wednesday. And he says he's really enjoying the site because the, the, there's some really nice people.
40. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. It, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm speaking to a new member today. And I'm telling you, for two hours, and it could have gone on for two days. Yeah. The connection that is coming about when people approach me, they have to approach me because they've decided that there's something that is there that they want to get involved with. And so when they decided, having watched how many hours of whatever it is that they're in a confluence with the energy and when it comes forward i i can fit into it straight away because it's right because they're right rachel the people that have come forward are right and yeah. they, they, they they've made up their minds that it's absolutely important to them and so every single time it works and this is the, the beautiful thing about it. It's it's magic. It really is magic when, when yeah. we are in this 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 thin line of vibration, which is nurturing to the soul, and it's difficult to define. But what it is it is for me. It's the reason why I'm doing it. It's the reason why I I, I set out consciously or unconsciously five years years ago and I remember 25 years ago how I desired to be able to speak in depth about certain things with, with somebody and in my life I've had few friends but those friends they've always been of this nature whereby when we're together mm -hmm. we never ever stop for anything to say yeah how many people can say they've got relationships like that it's just in, in especially in this world it's kind of like um, don't really take the time to do it. And I find myself falling into that. Like I really missed not talking to you because I don't have that many people I have this conversation with. So I was really like realizing how much of um, the meat in my life these conversations are and how much more, I shouldn't use meat because I love animals, so I'm going to get rid of that <clears throat> scenario. But how much, how much um, I guess, sub, just <sighs> some substantial... Um, Nourishment, I guess, is the yeah, best yeah, word for it. Exactly. That's what nourishment. This does. It, it yeah. nourishes our soul. And it nourishes our soul. And it's, even though sometimes I'm with you and we're on our fourth hour sometimes or third hour, I'm, there's a part of me going, Rachel, Rachel, your dog, Rachel, you're this, Rachel, you have to do this, Rachel, you have to pack, Rachel, this, Rachel, this. And it's just like I'm putting my soul first. Yeah, And that's what matters more than anything to me. And I think that all of us want to. It's just now that we're all signed up, it's going to take – I mean, Irit has been incredible with her commitment and her dedication. And Absolutely. the fact that you're talking to Max Eigen, I'm so excited. He's one of my um, favorite. The Crow House is his uh, YouTube channel, if you guys don't know. And um, I'm so – you know, I shared a couple YouTube links, and I think maybe when the site does some more changes – it would be fun to have a page where you know people put up their favorite YouTube channel or YouTube or something because we, we've got I, that I now in the forum. We have it's, it. It's, it's possible how to do it. Guy's going to do a, a, a tutorial about it. He's going to do. That's cool. A, yeah, a because I shared one on my profile, but you'd have to go all the way to my profile. You'd have to go to my videos, and it's too much. It's it's like there should just be a page of people going, "Hey guys, I." I saw this. I mean, it's kind of like on Facebook. I'll just throw a link on there and go, oh, guys, check this out. And it's really easy and quick, but it, it would be... Um well, in the really forum now, you see, it's it's so easy to create uh, different uh, headings topics, and so, yeah. different topics. And so, look down the topics: uh, psychology, philosophy, uh, yeah. the natural world, spiritualism, whatever. Yeah. And then you can see who's posted. Uh, and mm -hmm. if you think like, uh, well, for instance, uh, Doug, he posted he his his last video a few days ago. Great video, by the way. And so you, you click on that, and then you, you open up the link. And, and yeah. so the, that facility is already available. But the point is, there's not too many people that uh, know how to do it because it's a different yeah. platform. And, sure. um, you know, so it's a learning curve. So Guy will do a tuition about that. He'll do a tuition about how you put your file uh, details up. And anything else that uh, remotely needs a, a tutorial, he's going to be doing this. And, and yeah. so the, the, the site. It's going to be very user friendly um, soon enough. Right. And so maybe, Aaron, I think that, you know, a good, because um, I always like to have conversation, have some, uh, what are we going to do now? Let's, Im let's implement whatever we've learned, okay? Because otherwise, then it's just words, okay? So I think that I'll say for me, and maybe this, if anyone, if this resonates with anyone, not to overcommit, but for me, I would like to once a 
week, Skype with a new person from the um, from the site. I don't think that's too much to ask. I've you know, got a sneaky just feeling an hour. that Irit might be um, her eyes might be going up into her. I know. Head. Oh, I've already this, messaged this... her. I've already messaged her. And and, and just... have you actually ah. spoken to her yet? No, I know. We, we, so we've... so therefore, then I think that might be first on your list that you actually yeah, that's first, that's um, get some I'm commitment to... on on yeah. some of your previous promises. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what you know. This is why she loves me, folks. Call, no, call, 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 I call listen. people on their bullshit. Listen, and, I would call and, you on your bullshit. You she just calls never me on mine, and, and so therefore, you know. It's like any time I call Aaron on his bullshit, he's like, oh, we didn't record this session. No, really? <laughs> really? No, just accidentally didn't record this one. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, I've it's called not, you on it, which bullshit. It's not, it's it's not, not true, recorded. folks. It's never recorded. I've, I've had a lot of technical dish, uh, issues. <laughs> 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 technical issues <laughs> yeah. hashtag called ego oh, couldn't get rid of that for a second listen no seriously this... I, i'll never hold anything back look at that one yeah. finger at you three at me yeah, and i don't exactly. know where this one goes but, uh, exactly um i'm just gonna let you guys know that uh and that's what i want to do is commit once a week now you have to understand you guys are mostly european i had i just first americans i heard speak to you from uh where are they from Washington, right? Mm hmm And uh and so it's a lot easier Virginia. because Virginia. of the time change. It's eight hours different. So, you know, you've got it's hard enough to talk to somebody who's on my time range. I mean, my parents are three hours different and we, we struggle to talk once a week. It's so. not that insurmountable. You know, the eight hours right. difference. See, you, you arrange to speak with me at midday your time. Eight yeah. in the evening, my time. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Perfect. And if, if we speak for a couple of hours, then we, we've still got time, you know, to have some supper and, you know, watch a bit of television if you wanted to after. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. insurmountable. And so it's No, it's not. It's not. It's just, it's a matter of, okay, here this week, what, what, what time would you like? What, what's good for you? Like, you know, range of two or three. It's just <laughs> really, that's the hardest part is just committing to the time. And, you know, for me, all of a sudden I get an audition in an hour. Like, you know, my life is not, I don't have a nine to five. So that's my job is last second. So that's been the situation that I've experienced. And then I just finally said, okay, you know what? I'm, I need to wait till my life calms down so a little bit. So via the Facebook um, yeah. facility that we've got on the yes. site, then yeah. the, the, that may be the, the, the fastest portal for people to arrange things in yet. Are you going to join the Facebook? Well, I've tried to join it, but f f for some reason, uh, uh, I've been re rejected or it just hasn't you happened. You have not been rejected from this site, from Facebook? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think Facebook ha has an adversity to me <laughs> so so somewhere, somewhere down the line. You're so full of shit. That's the first thing Guy can do. You go Facebook.com. I, I, I know. It is the first thing that Guy can do. But let me, let me just tell you about um, you know, what we're doing is in relation to Guy. Guy's got his own life and he, he's no, got no, his, I know. his I own know. vocation Listen, I, and I can there's tell so you how to much to do and it, so it, it needs a full-time technician and this is what I, I have to get around to doing. So I'm going to be putting out feelers. Guy and I, we're going to be putting out feelers uh, of people on the internet that do this prof pr profession and um, I'm going to give them the overseeing of the site and instruct them into things uh, that I want doing and ask if them. If I hire a technician to get you on on face that's a waste of money but if facebook um you type in your name or email account well this facebook you... account by the way is, is private to the awake and brave well, of course it is but i'm saying for you you have to actually have a facebook account. so, so do you have a so it's there you go well. then that's so why. you can have a private don't have to have any you give them your your address and your name just like you have to do to Skype, then you have one, and then you just look up, awaken the send, Dave, it'll pop, and then you press this one that's called join, like this big on the top. Yeah. The guy is the one that will either accept you or reject you. But there is there. Let me just try to run something by yeah. the viewer now is that I, I do have an involvement in the forum because um, I'm, I'm obviously, I've got to have an involvement. I've got to the president. Uh, very you few think? people get an involved yeah. in that. I also get involvement in the member comments there, a little box where we would type. I also put a message into people's boxes if at all possible. If I then have 
the advertisement in the, the, the Facebook page, yeah. as well as doing all this technical stuff and creating videos. Well, uh, here's the thing, Aaron. You don't. You 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 don't really. Sometimes you. I mean, you are not. You you joining that just shows your participation. Your guy's the one handling all of it. You know, to be that, and he can even make me an administrator. I'm an administrator of two other pages, the Mandela pages. So that's easy for me. And all you have to do is just click a button and just see what we're talking about. You don't even have to join. You don't yeah. have to have any responsibility. No, that, that, that's you what I just, want to do because, yeah. um, to, to to be fair. Yeah. My position is 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 to feed the community with inspiration right. via my yes. videos. And then yeah. that gives the community an opportunity to talk about, oh, you know, did you see Alan's video or yes. are you inspired by this? Or yes. if you want to talk video links of your own, then talk about yes. that. I want this community to operate entirely without me. And I, I want to be able to come in and out uh, without exactly. really being noticed. To be fair. Well, exactly. I mean, look, it's I think it's 15 or 16 of us now on Facebook for about a week and a half, and you're not there, and we've been communicating in links and talking to each other. So, uh, but I do think it would be um, a, not a bummer, but it would be a disservice for you if you didn't join the group because you're a part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're a part of it like anything else. And I know all our feelings about Facebook, and I've lessened my Facebook a lot, but the, what I do give time to. Are the is the community aspect like that page and one other page that I'm on and then inspirational stuff that stuff I do give time to rather than giving my political opinion or liking something you know yeah so it's not you it is whatever you want to make of it so I just think that you joining is something you can commit to doing this week if I do a video with somebody you can commit to joining Facebook and clicking on this just so that you're a part of it and so we can go oh my god Aaron's here this is great you know but you don't have, you don't even have to say anything just yeah. see what we're no, talking about th that's that's great and so to, it'll, it'll have my face up there and so that people can see that I'm a, a oh member my god. of the well, community well this will be I did, get, get ready get ready because this is the end times people this is how you know the world is ending I mean Aaron joining Facebook and chemtrails and AI I mean what is next What's yeah next? What, what is next but if um, we kind of like um, wrap this one up, um, I think ah. we've, we, we, we've, we've sort of said it. Finally, what it. I'm, I'm sort of wanting to impart is that what it's about really, it's about the, the, the satiation of spirit that we've all been looking for. Mm -hmm. Only we haven't really known, Rachel, what it was that we're looking for. Now, yeah. you see... All of us, when we have been on this awakened path, we, we, like, we know there's something more, but we don't know what mm -hmm. it is. But mm -hmm. the, 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 the absolute uh, mind-blowing thing about it is that we don't have to look up at the stars to find out who our father is. We don't have to look so deeply into quantum physics and into, into all this mm. spiritual stuff. All mm -hmm. we need to do, really, is to get back to basics with ourselves, get back to the, the, the humanistic aspects of ourselves, look into our hearts and ask ourselves, what is it that makes me happy? Mm -hmm. And what is mm -hmm. it that makes me happy, you happy, and everybody I'm communicating with, there is absolute consensus in this, it's communicating with like-minded people and being free. And so it's simple. It costs no money. It doesn't take any effort. Really, it's the most simplest thing. We're so versed in doing it. We know the language. We, 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 we're all versed in, in speaking. We just probably have to get a little bit more familiar with letting our guards down because that's what we've been doing wrong. We've been building up all this shit which is preventing us from being human, preventing us from, from um, making and maintaining deep, meaningful relationships. And that's so, right. If... There's nothing more to say. I, I, I've said it. If people can mm -hmm. look into their hearts and see, mm -hmm. ask themselves, what is it that is stopping me from commenting? What is it that's stopping me from mm -hmm. wanting to respond to Aaron and Rachel and anybody else that's looking mm -hmm. for people to speak with? Really, what is the big deal? Please, people. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, uh, you know, living by example, how many, I mean, you, you have, I've skipped with strangers many times over. You've never met them before, but you, and there you are, like eyes wide open going, well, hello, you know, but knowing that they're interested in Skyping with you, um, you know, just, it's a, it's, um, it can be a scary thing. Intimacy is 
scary. They they know that this isn't just a a casual conversation. And I think opening your heart and door to a new form of uh, relationship. I mean, look, you don't have that many relationships outside of this, but we all do have friends and family. And it's bum- it's like you're bombarded with that plus Facebook friends. Plus, uh, you know, it's just how much can the psyche handle the relationships? So it's yeah. now it's a matter of I think for everyone to looking at quality rather than quantity and for you in your own journey, I think it's important for you to reach out to people in, in, in your, where you live, who I know not many speak English, but just so that there's an in-person contact because part of the reason I'm doing this is I hope to visit um, you. I hope to visit Irit and the another, I've never been there and I'm, I'm Dutch. I want to visit the people that I get to know on the site. I want to see them in person because there's something about in-person contact that even on Skype does not really fulfill that um, the the relationship feeling of an in-person contact. You know, when a guy came to visit you, you cooked dinner together, you did, you know, I mean, there's just different. Yeah, it was, an it, was, it was amazing. You know? And he says that um, there was something that he, he noticed that was quite profound um, in that I really appreciated that human contact. Yeah. And he, and he says it, 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 it was great that. and um, it, it all, all he could convey, really, that he probably thought that I enjoyed it too much. And that was <laughs> indicative that I don't get enough of it. And, and, and so I had to look at that. And yes. I know it's difficult for me around here. Who on earth am I going to be um, communicating with? I've been now. It just hasn't happened. And well, though, this is the same way you say we could say the same thing. We could be on this site for it and it just hasn't happened you have to initiate the guy that said hey dude i reckon you from your that video you know you were doing a video with us but you could have said hey, hey man you what's your name you live here you here for a while hey let's have coffee it's that easy to do it and i find that unfortunately with me after a couple glasses of wine it's a lot easier and i have the best conversations ever but i'm out enough where i could do that in my life more and, you know, just just start a, you know, conversation with or say, hey, you want to quick get a coffee? This guy was enamored with you. He thought you were a rock star because he saw all your videos and you were enjoying that. But you, you know, in the process of doing a video for us. But, you know, I would urge you to, if they're traveling, if they're, you know, talk to, you know, the but, but I think you get scared that they're going to then want to come over and then you got to be responsible to that. And so you can yeah, like and, then, and then I have to overextend my commitment. But people. the thing is, is I think that's part of your journey, Aaron, and the stuff that you still have to work on is that the boundaries is just saying, hey, it was really nice meeting you. And if, you, if you're in town for the next week, we'll have coffee again. But, you know, it's so, I, I mean, as a woman, trust me, I've had to say a lot of no's. Thank you, no. Thank you, yeah. no. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had so much fun. No. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, though. But no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And no is, no is a full sentence. That's yeah. Great. My big sister said, Rachel, no is a full sentence. Yeah. But you don't have to say it in an angry way because we have compassion for people and we know what rejection feels like. So well, it's just. That, that's right. And, and so enough about me. Let's get back on to ah, the, the, I love the it. Yeah, right. Ooh, it's ah, too no. scary to talk know, about Aaron. It's, it's a difficult one other. because obviously there's, there's issues and there's something to be said about these um, cyber relationships. But you see, our cyber relationship, it extends far greater than the, the, the vast majority, I feel. Of course. Because I the, 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 there's a higher vibration w- within yeah. um, uh, uh, us. And, and I guarantee that when we meet, when mm-hmm. any of us meet, mm-hmm. it, we, won't, we, w- we won't believe that we never met each other beforehand we will think that absolutely oh, we've known each other for 20 years and, but and i also so, think there's going to be a joy that we can't even understand by actually like i'm just like shaking your hand like you're real yeah, there's something yeah. about the uh, there's energy we can feel and you're on the other side of the world right now but being in the same room with somebody that is on that same level it it, it uh it kind of is like pushes it to another level as far as the vibration. This is a great vibration, but man, when you're in the same room with someone who's there, whoo, is that powerful? Yeah, and the curious thing is, is when Lisa came over, I tried everything uh, in, in my 
power to prevent her from him, but <laughs> it, it was a part of her well, destiny. Yeah. As far as she was going to she was going to come. Absolutely. Um, whether and I liked it or Guy. not. Guy when, was trying to do it too. Trying when to she came, that. we were inseparable for yes. the, the whole of the day right. and almost midnight uh, every yeah. night, um, yeah. just sitting on, on, on the sofa in such close proximity, yeah. a female uh, in yeah. my close proximity, watching <laughs> uh, stuff on the computer and, yeah. and having a laugh. Yeah. And yeah. It, it was so easy. It so was easy. like we're brother and sister. It really right. was that easy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it, it, the, the time just flew by and we had yeah. a fantastic time. And, and so... The, the reality is is often far different to the anticipation or the the what do we put up we put up um certain barriers and we put up objections and and, and yeah. we, we invent and we create reasons why we shouldn't do things in life right and right. just like all the viewers do they're, they're pre preventing themselves from speaking but no sooner as they start speaking it's kind of yeah. like oh goodness me it was so easy well, it's also going to be instant friends because we already have you in common. We have the site in common. We have, you know, we've all seen your videos. So there's already common ground. It's not like you're walking up to a complete stranger. So having said that, um, you do need more in-person contacts and we all need uh, to step up with this new level of uh, relationship that we've all put our, you know, little as it may be, we put down the, money the, the and agree spirit. to commitment. Exactly. And it already has been happening on Facebook, which is why. So, you know, that's another one of your, your homework is to get on Facebook and mine will be to speak to Ira this week, which will be very easy. I'll be in Sedona and it'll be a beautiful place to, yeah. um, and to Skype the, the, anyway. There's, there's at least six members on the site that, yeah. um, uh, I was wondering why they haven't filled in their profiles in this, that, and the other. And it's because they simply haven't received uh, the, their code that they need to get in. Because for some reason, the system didn't do it. And because um, the, the communication has been down on the site. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it just takes it, a little time. It, it, Once it, again, it, the, it, iron, the iron, the steam, the, we're steaming out the wrinkles really slowly. And it's gonna, the whole thing isn't, isn't smooth yet, but it's happening. Yeah, it is happening, you know? and um, it, it's going to grow into something beautiful because the, the energy uh, of the beauty is already there. It's already and there. And all those that, that, that needs to yep. happen now is that um, people need to start coming to enjoy the, the beauty and, and the presence of uh, this what we're making manifest. That's right. And, That's um, right. And it's, I mean, it's, you know, once again, it's, it's, it's always about the journey, right? This is part of the journey, the beginning, the middle, the end. It's going to be fun to look back at this. Who knows where this is going to go? But isn't it fun to go, God, remember when we were really frustrated with the site at the very beginning? Remember this? And I, I tell you, Aaron, taking that time in nature, I'm all about making things happen, making things happen. Make, but just those two days, I got back. I, I got an email from a publishing company in New York they're legit. I thought it was a joke. This guy's have been following your career for some time. I really want to represent you as an agent to, to write a book. And uh, I know you're not old enough for a memoir yet, but you've, with all your experience, I know this could be a bestseller. And I thought, oh, this is a scam. It's a scam. I wasn't allowing myself because I didn't do anything. Yeah, sure, I'd love to write a book. What am I going to write the book about? That's my thing now. What am I going to focus on yeah, to write a did, book about? Did, did you, did you um, kill anybody? Did you <laughs> right, like uh, drugs, climb any roll? mountains? Did you discover well, anything? It seems these days that you have to do something that is so yeah, outstandingly Aaron, brilliant do, do you to, know to, how to, hard to conjure it is? up anybody's interest. But how hard it is to even get that agent. And he came searching for me. And I didn't submit. I did nothing. went to the mountains. For three, I came back. Now I get this email, and I I forward it to my friend. I go, is this, this is scam? Set up legit, you know. This, he's been the agent of all these uh, famous people that they wrote, and you know what? He just wants you to write about something you're really passionate. Interesting. He goes, the fact that you have a master's in spiritual psychology, you're a comedian. Medium. And all this work animals is such an interesting combination. There has and to be And you're an ascending awake brain. Yes. All that. And he says, so there's something there. He goes, but that's for right. And he's ready to represent me. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, it'd be stupid not to. It's just, it comes down to, once again, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? Well, they're right.
worried about just fuck with because you know um the universe is knocking on our door and it doesn't not that many times if you fuck with it might just go and this this agent that's really hard to get came after me saying please submit something because i think you know could really we could really i don't it's not about making money for me but cool to get a message out what would my message be i think that that's my, my question message and that is a not quick conversation for the end of a skype i'll, I'll tell you uh, and okay then so just to um, um finalize then this uh, little chit chat um about uh, whatever we've been talking about um nature serenity presence yes, accountability all, all these stepping things, up all, the, all these things that what it is to to be a human being we are trying to encapsulate them all we, we're going to be trying to um, converse about any number of subject we don't yes. want to be shy about anything really because <laughs> try to try to talk to somebody new once a week even if we can't even if we don't know how to record it right now it because that could be intimidating too well i don't want to reach out to anybody i don't know yeah. how to do it. let's just talk let's just start the conversation yeah and so uh, on that note then we'll uh, click off this wait we'll, before you do that i have to tell you how, how my grandpa ended conversations <laughs> <laughs> right. This is how he would start them. I would call my grandpa. This is how he'd start him. Start the conversation. That's how I pick up the phone. Start the really? conversation. Yes. <laughs> and I would be like, oh, okay. Um, I, I thought I was calling into a radio program. Start the conversation. He ended it. Whenever he felt like it. he'd go, hang it out. <laughs> and he would hang up. Yeah. Bizarre. I can just imagine him standing in front of one of these things. Where he's the little trumpet and he's winding it up like Stop no, <laughs> Hang up now. No, no, I mean, up, baby. He, he did that with me on a regular phone, Aaron. You know, just, I'm not saying like in his day, I'm saying as an eighty year old man, when he talked to me and he'd be done, he would just go, Hang it up now, click. <laughs> he yeah. would just be done. I wouldn't take offense. He was just he was done. Yeah, well, my old man, he never, he, 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 he never even used to say, uh, I'm hanging up. He, he, the phone would just go down. And uh, <laughs> you, you'd go, oh, okay. Then he'd, um, he'd said what he'd wanted to say. He wasn't <laughs> really interested in what I wanted nope. to say or anybody else. Nope. As long as he'd said what he wanted to say, that was enough. Nope, and nope. so put, put, put the phone down. Yeah. All righty well, then. So well, great. Hey, you know what? It's like a French exit. When you, take a, when you do a French exit, I always do that whenever I go out. I don't say goodbye to people. I just disappear. Yeah, so it's, it's often, you just won't see me. It's often the, the 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 best thing to do just to disappear because then you don't have any goodbyes. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Look at uh, I, with, uh, a, with with a misty grey eyes, um, due to her age. Yeah, there before over. the grace of God go all of us. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah. Aging is getting older, and sometimes, Aaron, your rants are hysterical. The rant about Skype, I was peeing my pants laughing, and you weren't even trying to be funny. It the was about just what? Skype. Skype. I had Skype, and then all of a sudden, I can't get back on Skype. I need another password. Jesus, people, how many passwords do we have for everything? Can't remember them all. Then I got to start another Skype account because it won't let me on. Because oh, I can't be on. Yeah. I mean, it was just because I, 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 I I've it. made some more videos, you know. I've got like two or three videos that I've not uploaded because I'm getting back to the old ranting self again. And I'm telling people that <laughs> uh, it's going to be over. It's going to be over soon. I can't stand it anymore. And, Wait, uh, and I, I look at them. It. I think, oh, I can't put these up. But then sometimes I, I think like maybe I should put them up because people you know are used what? to me by now. We were used to your fucking rant. But you got to remember, just mix that with some humor because your rants. Do you know how many times I laughed during your rant? And I know you didn't mean for anyone to laugh, but it was so. <laughs> yeah, funny. I have no idea, you see, because obviously I, I can only see it from my perspective. And what I, I look at, I look at myself and I think, oh, you can't say this. You, you, you can't keep going back into this um, vibration. You're supposed to be well, ascending that's and it's true, you know, A little bit. A little bit that's true. But also, you did, have a, you did have one where you talked about your humor. And we're getting older and you just, you have to have a sense of humor. I mean, I couldn't get through life if I didn't see everything like a cartoon you're a cartoon i could draw you with your little glasses and your beard and i mean you just you know, people are characters and you know ultimately 
ultimately we're just passing through, so let's have some fucking fun and laugh a little uh, bit. Let's have some fun because it's only a game in any case. Let's stop taking it fucking seriously. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And so let's right. stop. Let's definitely stop yes. taking ourselves seriously and carrying our inhibitions and the fears with us because who, who gives a fuck? Because when we're all dead, yeah. nobody's going to remember you for more than a few years in any case. I uh, remember famous people. And, and the chances are they won't even bring flowers to your fucking grave. So, you know, <laughs> well, stop taking yourself serious, people. So, I plan on getting flowers. I get flowers. You know what I mean? Like, just for me being me. It's right there. No one's dead. Yeah. No one's dead. <laughs> nobody, nobody had to die to bring you 12 roses. <laughs> exactly. But that's an All evolution right. for man. Karen, it is late your time. I'm so proud of you for staying up past 930, old man. When are you going to shave the beard? Are you going to keep growing it? Yeah, it's just, um, it's my Howard Hughes period. I feel like David, you're like getting to the David Letterman stage. Like he just grew it a little too long. Like he stopped working and then it just went like down yeah, here. Yeah, I have no idea. It just feels perfectly natural. I can't be bothered to do all this shaving. Um, I just think <laughs> at this particular life, I've never grown a beard, which is so commendable. But, but really? It, it, yeah, I thought because... you've had beards before. I've had them before, but uh, invariably they're Apache. But this one, it, it's just grown and, and wow, it's the very it's full. very manly now. Yeah, and that. so um, I'm just thinking it, it doesn't bother me. It feels very comfortable. It goes with... Um, Cold my, out? My, my, I don't care what I look like, you know. Uh, the, those days of, of the, the vanity issues of being a handsome man with a jaw and all that, they're over, Rach. And, and, and so I'm thinking I don't want to attract anybody, so why do I need to go for all the effort of keeping cleanly shaven and all that bullshit, which, you know, why is a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm going to stop showering so brushing too, your also. teeth. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So I was doing this for my dog twice a day, but, you know, you want to keep him alive. Um, no, your beard is fine. I mean, it, it absolutely suits you and what you're going through right now. I read something a long time ago that said a man grows a beard when he needs to feel more <clears throat> powerful or masculine because it's a sign of masculinity and, and you know, it's a, it's a statement in a way, even if it's subconscious. It's like, yeah. Um, well, you, you see, the, the whole beard with philosophers and, and gurus and, and this sort of thing um, yeah. It's, it's got something to do with that, evidently, because you get into a frame of mind whereby the, 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 the vanity aspect of you becomes uh, so minuscule, really. And yep. even, even though I'm still going to the gym, the, the, the vanity aspect of that is a very small part of it. You're doing it, it more to feel good. It, it, yeah, it's the longevity yeah. to keep supple, yeah. because if, if you don't keep doing it, then uh, uh, to my age now, the, the, the weakness and, and infirmity will come about far, far quicker than it does with a younger man. So it, I've got yep. to keep doing it. I've done it for 35, 40 years. <laughs> and, and so uh, I've got to keep doing it. And, 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 and so that's that. So well, anyway, you'll know when it's time. When someone starts giving you money on the street because they think you're homeless, it's time to shave. That's what I say. When yeah. <laughs> you hold out a hat and people start giving you money. Well, you, you, they'll probably start giving me money now because uh, can, can you see my jeans? Oh, God. You poor thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is hysterical. That never, ever goes out of style in any country. It's always the um, – it is. Oh, and just, just to put a little nub on the whole nature thing, I read a whole article, and I'll put a YouTube thing on it. It's called Grounding. Have you heard of Grounding? Oh, well, I mean, depends in what context. Well, grounding, it's like a thing. It means walking the earth with uh, just your bare feet. Like oh, you okay. have to get on grass every day with your bare feet because there's a certain magnetic field and energy that, that, the, that the earth has that absorbs into your body if, if you don't get out there. It's cement and it's wood and we're in apartments. And how often are you bare feet? Oh, not maybe you more than others, but bare Every feet. single day. I'm bare feet every right. single day for about three hours. And well, it, they it, did. It, they it did is a study. nurturing to the soul, and there's something very, yes. very special about it. And but they see, did a study that says that it, it one lowers reason cancer why this, rate. this place is so beautiful is because Portugal, all the pavements and all the plazas, they're given to this, um, this white uh, stone. It's kind of like a bit like a marble, but it, 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 it's not a marble. It's yeah. white, and then they have the black one. And so what they do is they create all these mosaics and um, all patterns, and every single pavement just about throughout the whole country 
is given to this oh, stone. And all the walkways, so the only tarmac that you get is on, on the main roads. And invariably, oh. the side roads are all done with these cobbles as well. And so yeah. this is, there's an energy Wood. that's emitted from these stones because it's crystal right. at the end of the day. And, and, yep. and so there is definitely something to it which brings a certain uh, natural environment into a place. And so yep. this place is absolutely covered with that variety of path and all the beautiful manicured gardens and everything and the only uh, piece of tarmac is the main road that, that, that runs through this part of, of oh yeah the, this and, and and that's it all the rest of it is is you know pretty well natural and so well it's a lot harder for people who live in cities and also when it's cold outside you tell me to walk outside with my bare feet when it's freezing and i get that but at the same time, just to touch the earth, even for 15 minutes with your feet, it will change your whole body and and uh, it's just really healthy. And I just, the articles I read about it, and there's a whole town that does it, none of them have cancer. So it's just a Yeah, well, there's something to do, obviously, because um, the, the, the sun, the electromagnetism is coming down and it's passing through your body and it's yep. doing its circuit through the gravity around and it's coming... Uh, via the Taurus of, of the Earth. And you see, we have a Taurus within ourselves. We, we, we have a Taurus around the brain, we have a Taurus around the heart predominantly. And so we've got this energy which is flowing around like this. And this mm -hmm. is exactly the same as, as any planet, any star, the, the world. We, we've all got these Tauruses. Even atoms, they have this variety of, of um, uh, Taurus. And, and so this is the natural flow of energy in the universe and, and yep. if you go barefoot then you've got this conductivity to you it's the conduit that's it that's yeah. it it's and so conduit therefore, the energy connection. can flow through your body down into the earth or through the earth and, in. And, and that's it yeah so okay in. we're done then now hanging up now yep hanging up so goodbye people see you later